this is what we're going to call my first attempt at a video. It's mostly just to see how everything works. Here is Tupit. Say hi, Tupit. Hey, don't. <laughs> I guess we'll just have a roll around my island. I don't want to be too loud because everyone's sleeping. Let's just have a look around. Boy, did you get a lot of weeds. I mm -hmm. guess we'll have a look in here. Hey, hi, I'm my channel. Supposed to be my chow garden, basically. Guess we'll just jump in the pipe and see where it randomly takes us. I really should have done better with this room. This was supposed to be like a space colony arc or something. But, <laughs> what could I do with it? <laughs> Items are pretty limited. Main room, which is actually based on my RPG Maker Games uh, Tales Workshop. Like a throne representing what would be a quote-unquote healing chair in the game. You know, this hacking Eggman. Get out of here, Stitches! Well, I guess we'll tour with Stitches. If I were to do a proper video, I would probably read all his dialogue, but. This is not a proper video. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You coming in or Yes, yes, uh Can't ever possibly bring me a pair. I'll never have a pair. Oh. Just might as well. <laughs> I'm just going to let him win. It's obviously going to be a one! Let's see if he follows me into the next room. Bad stitches. Oh well, this is just a general memorial room for largely for vill villagers that moved out. Or it was. They kind of lost the plot along the way. They just kind of stopped adding villagers to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you scram stitches. <laughs> This is supposed to be the actual Tales Workshop garage, but it, it's a little... It's a little over... Overfilled with stuff because, you know, in the game... There wasn't really anything in there. We got, uh... Apparently, Tails is working on his own space shuttle. It's not going well. It's all sparking. A basement that is loosely based on the first level of my second RPG Maker game that was never finished. The stage is called Tech Tunnels and is supposed to be... The tunnels where the Tornado 2 was parked that you never actually get to explore in Sonic Adventure. I just figure there's probably a lot more to it than just a hanger. Or at least that's what I like to imagine. 
No. This is like the, the finale of Sonic Adventure, like this is supposed to be perfect chaos. Having flooded the city with all the flooded buildings. And then uh, you can pretend you're supersonic. <laughs> Egg hornet. <clears throat> We got, uh, this is the Mystic Ruins, obviously, so we got the lake, that chow egg, that, uh, for some reason we can sit on. <laughs> we got this little, uh, chamber is just kind of supposed to be the closest representation I can get for the laboratory where Copter, my OC, was created in uh, the RPG Maker game. Back here, this is supposed to be the entrance to Windy Valley, with the uh, little place where you put the stone. I guess that's a windmill supposed to represent the stage. And these little star clocks are supposed to represent the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, they are clocks. Up this way is supposed to be my section representing the Egg Carrier. Such as the Sky Deck, with the vehicles on the runway. And Hot Shelter with its fishing areas. And also a bit of conveyor belts to so just kind of represent final egg. And if you'll excuse me. So this is properly final egg over here. A little representation of gamma. I guess up there is supposed to be one of the two stone statues. War to the past, right? And we got a little Amachow over here. That there is the cart that would take you to the deeper jungle. This is the Explorer's Camp, which just so happens to be the in-game campsite. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's playing cards here. It's kind of a representation of something from my RPG Maker game. And that's the train station over there. Mystic Ruins train station. We'll get back to that. Here we have Big the Cat's house. Yeah, you can see there's Big on a sign over there. We've got fishing rods. We got over here Froggy <laughs> and uh, Big's mailbox is actually my mailbox. Ah, this little space here is supposed to represent Sand Hill and the Chaos Emerald Tales gets there. This is of course supposed to be Lost World. There's a dung beetle that's actually ready to roll the boulder <laughs> that Sonic runs away from. We got like some extra ruins back here, representing a section from my fan game, but also uh, the other small statue. It's funny, I thought the small statue was in the middle of the jungle somewhere. Hmm. And here for no reason is Mushroom Hill. There's just a bunch of mushrooms. Leading up to the Master Emerald Shrine. Where Knuckles is guarding the Master Emerald. And I can just stomp all over him. <laughs> well, it had to work that way for the, the, like, the top to go on the shrine. I couldn't put like him on a signpost or anything. Uh, this is supposed to be uh, Ice Cap. The Chaos Emerald I get there. And a snowboard. 
And back here, uh... Red Mountain, specifically the caverns. With like a, a weird prison and then all the lava. The weird skull imagery. I did my best with what I had. Ah oh, yes, and this is the end of, uh, what you call it, Emerald Coast. We've got the lighthouse, we got Tails, kind of doubly passed out on the beach. We got a, like, a spring at the end of the whale section, and there's a whale. The best representation of the whale I could get. But then back here was just a, like, our farm area, because we need, uh, we needed a farm area. Even though there isn't one in the adventure. Also, these bunk beds and this alarm clock is supposed to be a callback to the opening of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. And there's the rest of Emerald Coast, a little bit more resort vibes. This block is supposed to represent a one-up, uh, box. Ignore the flamingo. Mm -mm. Yep, Emerald Coast. As best as I could get it. That's just the crafting area from the start of the game, and I just left it there permanently. So this would be the entrance to Emerald Coast. The little swimming pool area of the Station Square Hotel. This would be the Station Square Chow Garden. We're in luck because Flo is in the house, so we can go into her house. <laughs> Which I remodeled to represent the actual hotel in Station Square. You got the crystal ring way up there. You got the switch to activate the light speed uh, rings. You got the elevator to the Chow Garden. The elevator to the Chaos 2 boss fight. Uh, just the dude at the counter. Who really likes the chow. <laughs> and just, you know, some lady on the steps for no reason. Mm-hmm. Oh, here we are in Station Square. Hello, my resident robot. Well, one of them. Uh-huh. Oh, that little billboard is showing a wrong note. One of my creatures from my RPG Maker games. It's Sonic to welcome you when you arrive in on the island. And yeah, this should be, I hope, is pretty recognizable as uh, the Station Square uh, main area. Little girl waiting for her dad. The town hall is supposed to be the station. And she misses the previous town on the on the 3DS. Now I miss that town too. I can't go back to it because of uh, memory card reasons. And then what's the name? Uh, sure. This is a, the Station Square Diner, which you can actually only see in the casino area. You can't actually go inside in the game, but yeah, this would be the casino area. That's like the theater where you should have the Chow in Space sign. This is the alleyway where you get the, uh, the ice stone. There should be a stone in here. Ah, yeah. That's a stone to represent the ice stone. This here is the casino itself, which is run by my secondary account. Eh, he's got cockroaches! 
I didn't think that would happen with, without him playing. Well, I guess it's the central area of the casino. I guess we've replaced the Sonic statue with uh, a scorpion. <laughs> and I have accidentally killed the uh, cockroach. Oh well. Back here. The slot machines. Or, or you know, the pinball tables. Guess I got a moon here to represent the knights. Uh, table. It just felt like something from knights to me. And we got some other walls. I've got some roulette wheels. They're just appropriate for the casino setting. The the vault where Sonic would put all of his rings to get to the Chaos Emerald. And there's the Chaos Emerald. The weird public showers. Okay. I guess that's a manhole leading down to the, the sewers or whatever. But we'll say that this is the source of all the cockroaches. The, uh, the basement area. The, the sewers that Sonic and Tails both uh, explore. Mostly Tails, because that's his level. Got like all the fans. <laughs> there, are a lot, there are a lot of fans down there. There's a lot of like, garbage paper down there. Ah, the piratey area that Knuckles can explore. Uh, complete with a weird Sphinx statue that <laughs> is crushing him even as we speak. <laughs> It's actually an umbrella. But, uh, that's an impressive optical illusion that I can't take credit for. I, I downloaded it. Uh, I downloaded a lot of the things. Uh, we see a design that I did, I'll point it out. But yeah, here's the actual train station. There's uh, the dock to uh, the boat from the Mystic Ruins. Uh, we have a little train, a <laughs> little train with passengers riding on top of the cars. I guess this would be the actual station, uh, luggage, uh, toy train set for whatever reason. Mario is here again to reference the RPG Maker game. We're back here. So over here is the newsstand. You could talk to a person there throughout the game in a Sonic Adventure. Over here, uh, the Amel Sisters is kind of just sitting in the place where roughly Speed Highway would go. Over here we have Twinkle Park. Like, like the little bowling section. I thought for sure that we'd get actual bowling pin items and I wouldn't have to use a flat design, but uh, whatever. We got the fishing area for big. We got Twinkle Circuit. And I, I legit did Twinkle Circuit. Got like the merry-go-round. We got, uh, this is supposed to be the Hall of Mirrors that Amy gets herself lost in. But it's kind of creepy piano melody or whatever. And then just because I wanted another bridge, there's another bridge. Uh, I guess this represents the area where Tails gets the jet anklet. Because we got the shoes here. And then we got, you know, a fountain and a bell to kind of 
represent Knuckles Speed Highway area. It's just some general buildings in the transition uh, between sections. I even put an ad district here, kind of. And another bell. And this down here is supposed to be a gas station. I kind of did it to kind of look like a checkpoint. You know, with the little things on top. And then there's just a bag of black market stuff. Hmm. I had to fill the beach with some things, so like... It's like a little Sonic Adventure 2 area with a pyramid and a chow box and a little... pod that's kind of like what Shadow was sleeping in. And a space shuttle at, behind the pyramid. <laughs> we got... This is the shop. We like the egg. The chow egg in the front display. The other things that are out front here are just kind of here for... Oh, if you hear a weird noise, it's because there's a theremin over here. Every time I walk past it, it wakes the weird noise. Uh, Cookie's house, I just generally put stuff out front to represent Cookie. So, yeah, we got uh, the benches. That weird stalker girl who stalks the guy from the burger shop. Unfortunately, Raymond runs the burger shop and he's not in, so we can't go in there. But we got Amy and Birdie and Birdie's Chaos Emerald all right here. <laughs> we got Savannah's little outdoor library. <laughs> uh, Stitch's house. That would be the security tower from uh, my RPG Maker game. It's another level from there. And the museum is the other entrance to Speed Highway, Knuckles' entrance, where Sonic also fights Chaos. Oh yeah, this is a small section based on Sonic Chronicles' Blue Ridge Zone, which is supposed to be north of Station Square. They have like a, a power plant back there. It's just, it's an area that actually is supposed to be snowy. So we have some snowmen. Keep the wintry feel all year round. And uh, the old well that grown Timmy wanders into. Because he actually works there or something. But it's yeah, kind of a funny little side quest. But then these flags here represent the start of the Mario area. We got, yeah, we got question mark blocks, we got floating blocks, we got a shell, you know, general Mario stuff. There used to be more of it here. I was considering for a time just tearing this section down altogether, but I never finished doing so. <laughs> Thwomp smashes the Goombas. And then... <laughs> Get to the end, you grab the star. And... You reach the goal. And that is our goal for the day. Yes, that dino is supposed to be Bowser. I guess it's... I guess it's from a live-action movie where he's actually a dinosaur. Okay, well, I've been recording for a good long while, so that's it. Uh, ooh. <laughs> uh, we'll see what becomes of this recording. <laughs>